Well, a warm welcome to today's lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to be integrating x squared sine of 2x with respect to x. And if you notice over here on the right hand side, I've got the formula for integration by parts. So that's what we're going to be using. And hopefully this little formula will serve as a good reminder for you. Now, the first thing we need to do is to make our substitutions. We're substituting for u and dv by dx. So we'll start with let u equal x squared and dv by dx, well, that's going to be equal to sine of 2x. I need to differentiate u, so du by dx, that's going to be equal to 2x. And integrating this will give v equals negative a half cosine of 2x. Now, if you're not sure what the integral of sine 2x is, I do have a little video on that, and I'll just pop that up in the corner for you. Now that I have everything I need, I can apply the integration by parts formula. So we have the integral of x squared sine 2x with respect to x will be equal to the following. It's u multiplied by v. So u is x squared, and v is negative a half cosine 2x. So we'll put the negative here and deal with that half, and then cosine 2x. And then we're subtracting the integral of v. So it's the integral of v, which is this negative a half cos 2x. So let's bring the negative a half outside the integral. So we've got this negative and this one, which will be a positive. Then we've got the half. And now I've got the cosine of 2x. And we're multiplying that by du by dx, which is 2x. So we'll pop that in front. And that's with respect to x. Now what you might notice is that this 2 here will cancel with this half. And now we've got another integral here. So let's deal with this over here. So what we've got is the integral of x cosine 2x with respect to x. And again, I can apply integration by parts. So I can let u equal x and dv by dx will be equal to cosine of 2x. Integrating this, we get du by dx is equal to 1. And when we integrate this, we get v is equal to. Now, integrating cosine will give us sine. So we'll have a half sine of 2x. Now we can apply the integration by parts formula, which is uv. So this multiplied by this. So what we get is x over 2 sine of 2x minus the integral of v du dx. So v is this half sine 2x. Let's bring the half outside the integral. Then we've got sine of 2x with respect to x. So what I've got is x over 2 sine of 2x minus. Now, when we integrate sine, we get negative cosine. So that negative and this one will give me a positive here. Integrating sine of 2x would be the negative a half cosine 2x. So that half from the integration and this one here will give me a quarter. So we've got a quarter cosine of 2x and we just need to add on the constant of integration. So now what I can do, I can take this and substitute back in for this here. So what we end up with is negative x squared over 2 cosine of 2x plus, now do this substitution, we've got x over 2 sine of 2x plus a quarter cosine of 2x 
plus the constant of integration. Now I notice I've got a lot of fractions here. I've got the uh, half here, half here, and a quarter here. So I'm going to change these all to quarters. And that would give me the following. I would have negative 2x squared over 4 cosine of 2x plus 2x over 4 sine 2x plus the quarter cosine of 2x plus c. Now that everything is over 4, I also notice I've got this cosine 2x and this cosine 2x, so I can factor that out as well. So what I'm going to be left with is 1 minus 2x squared multiplied by cosine of 2x plus 2x sine of 2x, and that's all over 4, and then just add on the constant of integration. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up, and if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button, and remember to click on the little notification bell.